This is your weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. We made it to a new year. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have now a situation where the notable phases occur right on Wednesday, the beginning of our forecast period. Wednesday, January 6th, the start of this time. Uh, we have the last quarter moon rising at noon and setting just about the next morning, noon our drought conditions are not changing from Christmas week into New Year's week. Pretty much the exact same map. Um, and that's due to cooler air temperatures, which uh, don't promote as much evaporation from the soil. We are getting many shots of snow to the higher mountains and the western slopes. And so hopefully that will start to show up in the data in the weeks and months to come. Over the west... We have pretty extensive long-term drought out to the west coast, most of the Rockies, into Texas, and up into the northern plains. But we should see some relief in the plains and on the west coast, as we'll see at the end of today's discussion. Precipitation over the last seven days, very minimal. A little bit out on the uh, eastern plains. We have missing data here and over a large part of the west something must have gone wrong with the data assimilation system at the weather service so we have just the data right here and that shows we didn't get anything there's a little bit in the foothills but nothing right along i-25 by thursday a.m a ridge that's been in the west giving us warm comfy weather has a little shortwave trough breaking through kind of cutting in half momentarily do you have a storm down in the south uh, and southeastern part of the U.S. that's rolling along? This is creating some snow up in the northern mountains with a little cold front trailing along here. And we got some rain down in the south, and we're still high and dry between those two. Okay, the next 10 days, our high temperature remains at 44. This is the typical or normal high temperature. Normal lows rise a degree from 17 to 18. And our expected temperatures bounce around in the low end of this normal range. We briefly on Sunday drop a little bit below normal, but this is really normal January weather, believe it or not. We do see a chance of precipitation on Friday and some of the ensemble runs. More of the model runs are in agreement that we'll see some snow from Saturday afternoon or evening into Sunday morning. Won't amount to much. Uh, then later next week we see some unsettled weather. And let's put the next 10 days in motion and see what's causing all this. So here comes that northern Rockies trough it just kind of washes out there here comes our trough digging in on Saturday a little cut off low <coughs> pumping some moisture up giving us that Saturday Sunday storm then into Monday Ridge is back in the west here comes another trough all right looking at the precipitation we have a little bit of snow dying out up here is that shortwave trough Vanishes, the next system comes in, cranks up briefly, creating upslope snow for us before it takes off down into Texas. And then as we go into the beginning of next week, we're again very high and dry. Even a surface high pressure system is sitting out here. There's a storm system kind of getting its act together up in the northern Rockies. It comes down and does something around Thursday, Friday next week. That remains to be seen. That's a long ways away. Over the next 10 days, our snow expected is really minimal. Right along I-25, the GFS on this run gives us really nothing. Uh, maybe a coating of snow to an inch near Boulder, and then uh, mountains get four or five, six inches in places. Precipitation is equally very meager, uh, five hundredths of an inch to maybe a tenth of an inch uh, around Denver and in the lower foothills maybe up to a quarter inch and a touch more in spots up in the mountains. Just not much there. Over the next seven days, as I said, we stay in the low end of normal throughout this time. We have 40s uh, going into the weekend and 40s coming out of the weekend and low to mid 30s for the weekend itself. Nighttime temperatures don't change much. Bouncing around in the upper teens and low to mid 20s, we have our chance of snow 
mainly Saturday afternoon and evening, still uh, fading off on Sunday morning. We saw in the December forecast prediction from NOAA that we would have above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation for Colorado and much of the West, and that certainly came true. Now, looking at January, we see above normal temperatures um, over most of Colorado. I guess the Four Corners area is close to normal. And for precipitation, we're now in the normal area for this month, that means we'll get something. Uh, down in New Mexico, Arizona, West Texas is where you have your below normal. A look at the Midwest and Great Plains with above normal precipitation amounts expected and the West Coast are even better with Central and Northern California actually probably getting some good rains. So very beneficial, very needed out there. That's why I'm hoping to see better uh, drought data in the weeks to come. For more frequent weather updates, and local news, check out the Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking out.